Right from the very first panels of Chainsaw Man, I found myself lost in its world. But it's no easy task to be completely sold on something without seeing what's next. Though for some reason, I knew from the get-go that I was in for a treat. Motivated by the general huge hype around the anime adaptation, I decided to give it a try, and I'm not exaggerating when I say that this may be my favorite manga yet. You know that moment when you finish a series and spend the next days just metabolizing it, thinking about it, asking yourself questions? Well, I still am, and I only recently understood why I was instantly captivated by the first chapter, which alone I decided to trust to invest my time on reading the rest of the manga. TLDR, this panel is the reason. Unconventionality is the go-to word for Chainsaw Man. I was not expecting that line of dialogue, but it was a funny surprise. Right off the bat, Denji informs us while talking to Pochita, a devil he's friends with, that he has an incredible debt on his shoulders to repay. So much so that he has desperately started selling parts of his body, and it still does not seem to be nearly enough. We immediately get a grasp on the situation he's in. Denji is in a substantial but informal condition of slavery, from which there is no way of escaping because death threats are constantly sent to him through his boss's stare and tone. His ignorance is also of no help, because he has been living this kind of life since he was born, making it his standard. He can't fully comprehend his state, so he just accepts it as normal and he does as he is told, like a dog. Denji is a miserable character, with only one point of view, and that is from his hut, in which he eats a slice of bread a day, which incapacitates him of making it out of the trap that is his late dad's debt. It is impossible not to empathize with him, because his poverty of mind, and wallet, is not his fault, but there is hope. Very dim beams of light manage to penetrate his dark hut, when he occasionally says to Pochita the words I heard that. These spontaneous interactions offer him terms of comparison that allow him to actually understand that normality is a different reality to what he is currently living. Normality is spreading jam all over a slice of bread, having a girl, playing video games. But Denji doesn't even get to dream of a normal life. He is a slave, risking his life every day constantly humiliated and dehumanized. But he must pay back his debt, or else he will be killed. His only consolation is Pochita, a devil he had saved when younger by letting it drink his blood to heal its wounds in exchange of saving Denji himself, in sake of a contract. See? Fundamental rules of this universe are already being displayed in front of our eyes from the very first chapter. Everything suddenly changes when he gets stabbed in the back, literally, by those commanding him who wanted to get rid of their smelly dog. Actually, two contracts are enforced between them. In addition to the one that prescribes them to save each other, the other is made upon, this time around, Pochita saving Denji, which makes a nice parallel. Pochita offers to be Denji's heart, but in exchange it wants to see Denji fulfill his dreams. Surprisingly, Pochita can speak, and has always enjoyed their talks on dreams. In fact, Denji would talk his dreams out, because at night it was hard to sleep given his starvation. And falling asleep was even harder at that point, because he would inevitably think about his debt. Denji and Pochita's relationship is one about care and love, because they only have each other in this life. And the trust they put in the other is safely established thanks to a flashback, where Denji tells the small devil that he can see himself die soon because of his dangerous job, and so in that case he wants Pochita to take over his body and live a normal life and die a normal death, since he has heard the devils can do that. Foreshadowing is also a big component of this first chapter, especially Makima telling Denji apart from devil or human by her smell, and by proposing him the exact same dream breakfast he wants aka bread with jam, or again, her holding him without a second thought when they meet. There is a bit of world building even. Makima is a public safety devil hunter, 
meaning there must be an organization fighting devils, ready to welcome Denji. So we already have some future perspectives and guesses, all the while not fully trusting Makima, seeing the alternatives she gave Denji, this being dying or becoming her dog. The latter is a major theme in Chainsaw Man. Denji realizes everybody has dreams, everybody tries to get a grip on a superior level of normality, because it is only human to keep dreaming on. So his new normal life begins. What awaits him? Thanks for watching. I'll be editing the one year anniversary of the channel. Until then, I'll see you sooner than later.